Hi, this is Katie and Colby. And today on our cookbook series, we're going to show you how to make a pumpkin cake roll. Ready? Okay. <laughs> All right, first things first, you're going to take your pan and line it with wax paper. Make sure it lays flat and the corners are neatly folded. Stop rolling up. Rolling back up. Then in a medium sized bowl, you're going to combine one and a half cups of flour. No, one cup. One. Two. Okay, now that, that's a deep hole. Good job. One yeah. teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon yeah. of baking powder. Then a half teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of ginger, one table, sorry, one teaspoon of allspice and a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay. Can you do the cinnamon? How many We need two teaspoons. So let me get it out and then you can put it. Okay. Mixing, 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 mixing. All right, then in a separate bowl, you're going to combine. Say it again. Six eggs. Go. Say it again. Two, two cups of sugar, then one cup of pumpkin puree. Then you're going to turn on your supersonic arm and you're going to whisk all of that together till it looks decent. Mix, 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 mix. Then you're gonna mix your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients. Mix, 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 mix. All right, then you're going to take your your pumpkin cake mixture and you're going to pour it onto the pan with the wax paper. You have to make sure that it is laid very thinly and in all the corners. This is the important part. It must be spread very thin. Then you're going to cut off the excess wax paper. And then you're going to put it in the oven at 375 for 13 to 15 minutes. 
While it's in the oven, we will prepare our cream cheese frosting. All right, in a medium-sized bowl, you're going to put eight tablespoons of butter, softened, one eight-ounce thing of cream cheese, two teaspoons of vanilla, one cup of flour, and one cup of powdered sugar. Then you're going to mix until combined. And right about here is when I realized the mixer had died. That's right, the Colby killed the mixer, guys. Not me, Colby did. All right, now this is the important part. With a clean towel, you're gonna lay it out across the counter. And then very carefully, you're going to take the cake and you're going to flip it onto it. And you need to do this part rather quickly, but you need to take the parchment paper off without ripping the whole entire cake up. And if it's still warm, it should be rather easy to take it off. Then you're going to roll the cake up into a roll rolling the towel with it and then you're going to leave it to completely cool or if you're impatient you can put it in the fridge for an hour Then once it is completely cooled, you're going to take it out of the fridge, you're gonna lay it down on the counter and you're gonna unroll it. And then you're going to take your frosting and you're going to frost the whole entire thing. Now, so long as you didn't eat all the frosting, waiting for it to cool, you should have enough to make it to all the corners. Then once you're done with that, you're going to roll it back up without the towel and you can put it in saran wrap and then put it in the fridge for another hour and then it should be good to eat. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.